sees in art. Richard. Yeah, we're going to show you seven questions on each board. The answers are all one word, uh, and all those words begin with C. There we are. Bit of culture. That's nice, isn't it? A bit of culture. Nice. Yeah, yeah. that makes a change. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now, uh, OK, so we're looking for the answers to these. They all begin with C. And here is our first board of clues, seven of them coming up. We've got black, crumbly drawing material traditionally made by heating wood in the absence of air. Surname of the US-born sculptor and printmaker known for work such as her 1952 lino-cut sharecropper. Item of furniture in the title of an 1888 Van Gogh painting acquired by the National Gallery in 1924. Fine art auction house that moved to its London headquarters at 8 King Street, St James's in 1823. Surname of the artist with the first name Paul, born in Aix-en-Provence in 1839, who painted Les Grandes Baigneuses. Italian term meaning light dark, used in the visual arts to refer to the treatment of light and shade. And finally, surname of the UK Prime Minister, who was the subject of a controversial 1954 portrait by Graham Sutherland. There we are. James. Um, I'm going to go for the Prime Minister one and go for a Chamberlain. The bottom one? Yeah. Chamberlain, 1954. Let's see if that's right. Chamberlain. I'm afraid not Chamberlain. Sorry, we had that trouble on the last show, didn't we, with politicians? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, he was a prime minister. It does begin with C, but not the answer to that question. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Simon, welcome to Point. It's great to have you here. Things beginning with C uh, from the world of art. What's, uh, what's leaping out at you there? Um, I think I will go with um, the Van Gogh chair. Chair? Hmm. Chair. So, Simon, let's see if that is right for the Van Gogh. How many of our 100 people said it? It is chair. Down it goes to 43. Very well done. Uh, yeah, you've got a painting of his chair and of Gauguin's chair, because they used to work together and they're supposed to hang side by side. His is much simpler than Gauguin's. Mm. Uh, so, now, Catherine, welcome back. Hello. What are you going to go for on our board? Here? Um, I think I will go for the surname of the UK Prime Minister and say it's uh, Churchill. Churchill, says Catherine. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Churchill. It's right. 43 is our low score and you pass it. 34 is what you end up with. Well, both Catherine and Marcy done. Lovely to see the dawning realisation on James's face that there was an even more famous uh, UK <laughs> yeah. Prime Minister whose name began with C. Began with a C. Thank you very much indeed. OK, now, Jaya, this board is all yours. Do you want to fill in all those blanks for us? Um, I would love to be able to fill in all of them, but I'm afraid I can't. So I think I know the black crumbly drawing material as charcoal. And that's it, I'm afraid. <laughs> OK, charcoal. Let's see how many of our 100 people said charcoal. Charcoal is absolutely right, and down it goes to 54. Well played, Jay. Let's take a look through the rest of this board, shall we? See how cultured we are feeling today. The second one down is the hardest one on the board, actually. Very well done if you knew it. It's Elizabeth Catlett. One point for that. Very well done if you said it. Uh, the fine art auction house? Christie's. Christie's. We'll just go to 25, the artist. Cezanne. Cezanne. 14 points. And you know the Italian term? Chiara Scura. And Chiara Scura. Chiara Scura. Six points for that. Uh, so, Catlett, best answer on the board. Very well done if you said that at home. Thank you very much indeed. Well, we're halfway through the round. Let's have a look at those scores. 34, look at that, Catherine and Maria. Straight out of the traps there with a nice low score. We travel up to 43, which is where we find Simon and Lindsay. Then up to 54, where we find Jaya and Raj. And then... Uh, I'm getting deja vu here, James and Paddy. We were in the same sort of position this time, halfway through the last mm. round, I think. Yeah. Um, there we are on uh, 100. A nice low score in the next round could just... Give could maybe. Shot. You never know. Uh, good luck with that. We're going to come back down the line now. Will the second players please step up to the podium? OK, let's put seven more clues up on the board, and here they come. We have got... Word before gate in the title of an Anish Kapoor sculpture unveiled in Chicago's Millennium Park in 2004. Blue pigment that shares its name with the 27th element of the periodic table. Surname of the Impressionist with the first name Mary, known for the 1878 work Little Girl in a Blue Armchair. 
originated by Picasso and Braque, this style of art takes its name from a solid shape with six square faces. Country, in which the artist and activist Ai Weiwei was born in 1957. Surname of the Suffolk-born painter whose 1821 painting The Haywain is in the National Gallery. And Tate St Ives and Penley House are in this historic county in southwestern England. There we are. Raj, welcome back. I'm going to go for, I think, the surname of the Suffolk born painter. I think it's Constable. Constable, says Raj. Here is your red line. Let's see how close to that red line we get with Constable. It's right. You've done it. Look at that. Straight away. 40 for Constable takes your total up to 94. Well played, Raj. It's interesting, that thing about art, that the Haywain now would be one of those things that we would hold up as an example of very traditional art. And, you know, what mm. on earth is this modern art? You know, why don't people do paintings like the Haywain? But at the time, that was very, very radical because it was very sort of rough and it was, a, it was an unusual technique and people thought it looked unfinished. So at the time, he was a modern artist and incredibly radical and people thought it was outrageous. Goes to show, doesn't it? There you are. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now, uh, Maria, there you are. You're on 34. If you can score 65 or less, you're through to the next round. I know a couple, I guess, which is more likely to be under 65. Uh, the country in which the artist and activist Ai Weiwei was born, uh, China. China, says Maria. Let's see how many of our 100 people said China. Here's your red line. China is right. Very well done. Down to 30, takes your total up to 64. Very strong indeed. Well, he's probably still most famous over here for his sunflower seeds that were in the, the turbine hall of the Tate. And there were a hundred million of them, and every single one was hand carved and painted in, uh, in Chinese uh, studios. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Now, Lindsay. OK, um, I think I know a couple of them. I'm just not sure which one to go for. I think. Uh, the fourth one down, originated by Picasso and Brack, I'll say Cubism. Cubism, says yeah. Lindsay. Here is your red line. Can you get below this with Cubism? Let's find out. It's right. And you're through. Down it goes to 22, taking your total up to 65. Yeah, very nicely done. Taken from a review of Brack in the early 20th century. Someone said it just looks like it was composed of little cubes. He said, I have that. Yeah, oh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I love like that. that. What cubism? cubism. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I meant, I, meant, I meant that. Yeah. It's supposed to look like that. Clever. <laughs> Thank you very much, Richard. Now, Paddy. Paddy, I've got grave news. Yeah. I'm afraid you are on 100 and you are our high scorers, even before you've given your brilliant answer. <laughs> this board's all yours, though, Paddy. Thanks Talk us through it. Um, OK, so the first one, I've no idea, but I guess Chicago. Chicago Gate. And then Blue Pigment. Uh, also an element of periodic table, I'd probably guess at calcium. So to take St Ives, it would be Cornwall, I believe. But I think I'm going to go for the blue pigment and go calcium. Calcium, says Paddy. Calcium. Let's see if that's right. No red line view, as you are the high scorers. <laughs> no. I'm afraid not <laughs> calcium. That scores you 100 points, takes well, your total up. To 200. <laughs> yeah, not calcium, I'm afraid. Do you know copper. the answer to that one? Not copper, cobalt. Of course, yeah, love cobalt. cobalt. Well done if you said oh, that. I see you were meant to know it was the 27th element. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's clever. 20 points for that. Now, the world before gate in that Anish Kapoor sculpture is cloud, cloud gate. Very well done if you said that. We would have scored for the surname of the impressionist. I'm afraid I don't know that. Cassatt. Mary Cassatt. Uh, one point for that. Well, I don't know if you said that. And you're absolutely right, Cornwall down the bottom there. Um, would have scored you 49 points, though. But Paddy and James now make pointless history. Ah, uh, yes. First pair ever to be coming back for a third show. Yeah. Because we now have people back for three yeah. shows. Yeah. And so we're going to see them again next time. Yeah, and that's the first time it's time. ever happened. Well, listen, here we are at the end of this round. Um, we're going to say goodbye to you. But we will see you again. Thank you very much for playing, Paddy and James. Next time, I feel it's got head-to-head so head and beyond written all over it. Paddy and James. <laughs>